Hi, this is Aaron Lintz again, back with the Sourcing Challenge Show and our tool edition, uh, episode two. And I have with us uh, Guillaume Mobish. Uh, Mobesh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I, I said I could mess it up, and I did. Uh, okay. uh, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, and thanks for having me on the show, Aaron. Uh, the purpose of the show is to talk about the tools that we use, uh, Mark, myself, in our in our day to day work, and we've been actually working with Lemlist now uh, myself for about three months, and really enjoying it. Really like the functionality. It's again one of those tools that was never built exclusively for recruiting. It's a, a email marketing tool. I'll let uh, Guillaume explain it in, in better detail. But um, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Aaron. So first of all, yes, yeah, thank you for having me here. Like, really happy and. Uh, Happy to share uh, experience, best practice, and show around. Like, uh, so in any case, like at some point, if you had questions or like just interrupt me, it's uh, it's all good. Uh, basically, like um, a, a bit of uh, introduction. I'm Guillaume, so I'm French, based in Paris. Um, before building Lemlist, I was uh, an agency owner, so I was helping like startup SMEs growing their businesses. And what I realized is that a lot of people were struggling with uh, sending emails, whether it's for B2B sales prospecting or HR or PR outreach. And I've realized that that's because basically like the tools were not really adequate for it. So we've actually decided to, to create Lemlist, which is a, an email automation software. So in a sense, you can send email to a list of people. Uh, Zeus email are personalized. And finally, you can automate also the follow-ups if the person is, uh, doesn't reply. So the goal is to save time to people and also allow them to personalize as much as possible their email. We're also adding like some features with uh, more personalization, including images, videos, and personalized experience. But that's something we can, we can discuss. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've been, a, um, I can tell you, we just got a hire not too long ago, and it was the probably your traditional campaign. The first one's very nice. The second one is a follow-up, uh, maybe more explicit. And the third one is kind of a, a humorous image um, to get them to reply. And the person replied on the third one. I'm getting a great response rate from that, a personalized image. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's already um, proven successful for us. So I'm um, glad to share um, your tool with, with our audience. Awesome. <laughs> like I said, the problems you guys solve, it's, it sounds kind of self-explanatory, but uh, maybe you could uh, explain a little bit in further detail, like what, what the benefit of having a tool like this. Yes. So basically, like uh, what we've noticed is whenever you're sending out a message to someone, um, first of all, you tend to spend a lot of time doing some copy pasting whether you could actually just use email template directly built in, into the platform. So that's kind of what we build. Also, like we allow people to really personalize every and each email directly into the platform, which keeps like a, a human touch and so on. And finally, like um, I think we receive, everyone receives like tons of email every day. So it doesn't mean that someone is not interested if he doesn't answer. It, it just means that someone might have been getting caught in another task and just forgot about your email. And allowing to have automated follow-up allow you know, for you to just like sit back and doesn't have to copy-paste again and again the same message, uh, having a task you know, like uh, popping up and saying, okay, you need to follow up on, for that email. You can just like basically relax and sit back and, and you, you'll get some replies in your inbox. <laughs> It's uh, music to my ears, you know, it's a <laughs> wonderful thing. Um, I mean, as far as how you guys um, grew the business, I mean, what was the strategy or how did you, you know, uh, kind of build that audience? So basically, like, um, the company, we're three co-founders. So, uh, so it's me and two other co-founders on the technical side. Uh, my two co-founders are what I call like tech geniuses. <laughs> They've been coding since they were five and they're around like 40 years old now. So... They have a lot of experience. That's why things are going actually really fast. In a startup, I think the usually like the struggle point is about like growing the tech, but on our end, you know, it's more about like uh, the marketing and all that side. I need to, to keep up because <laughs> those guys are going really fast. And uh, so we launched actually, like uh, we started coding in, uh, in November, then launched the beta in, uh, in January. 
And since then, we actually had like a, a big, uh, let's say, um, I don't know, partnership with a company in the US called AppSumo, which has allowed us to grow from basically zero to more than 5,000 users. So in, uh, in about like seven months. So now it's, uh, things are running like uh, smoothly. So in order to have like this huge amount of users, what we offered at that time was like a, a very unique deal for a limit, limited time. And now, you know, we're, we're basically like uh, using our own platform to acquire new customers. And that's kind of our strategy, you know, you have to... That's what they say. They, I don't know if they say in France, uh, eat your own dog food or... Yeah, exactly, you know, eat your own dog food. <laughs> That's how you learn, yeah, what, what your customer challenges would be and, and you know, like I said, they have this problems of scalability and everything. So it's wonderful. You use your own tool to, to develop uh, new, new customers. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. It's, <laughs> and it's uh, also cost effective, let's say. <laughs> that's, uh, that, is, uh, that is also true. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that is the kind of the growth hacker mentality is, you know, you do it. Um, yeah, you, there's no reason to spend if you don't have to. And um, Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. think, do things that affect it. It's a great story. Um, and what are the the use cases? I know you mentioned that it sounds like it runs the gambit, but um, I mean, the uh, public relations, sales, yep. marketing. Um, so let's. I would say that we have let's say four different verticals. Um, so we have a lot of people using Lemlist for uh, HR and reaching out to talents, because I think like what's unique with our platform, as you were mentioning above, it's. Uh, basically the personalization and the fact that you can really have a, a humanized experience. So all emails look like they were written, you know, to, to one specific person. And that's usually what's missing, you know, in most tools. Uh, um, the fact that it keeps human, you know, is really good for HR because in the end, you know, you're building relationship with people and you try to keep this relationship as warm as possible. So that's the first uh, use case, I would say. Then we have also like people using Lemless for sales prospecting. So what they would do is reach out to potential prospects um, in the same way. So I think sales is also about human, you know, because in, in the end you're building relationship. Like people would buy from you because they think that what you're doing is really helpful, really relevant, especially in the B2B space because the goal is really to help each other grow, you know. Um, finally, we have also like the PR outreach. So PR, it's uh, basically like press or bloggers or so you, you would be reaching out to those people in order to get exposure either in the press or get, uh, I don't know, a blog post on a website or these kind of things. Um, and finally, it's, um, I would call it churn reduction, but it can apply to, to everything. It's basically like uh, keeping your users or your customers always aware of what you're doing and always, you know, like, um, it's not a newsletter tool, but it's, it's more to keep, like, uh, relationships. So it's, uh, the emails look natural, look like if they were sent from directly from your email address. So it's only, like, uh, text and sometimes images as if you were doing images. It's not really, like, a layout as a, a newsletter that actually no one reads. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's be honest. And when you see the format <laughs> that says click here for a browser, yeah. <laughs> the browser, that means you did it wrong, right? Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> there are so many problems with newsletters. It's so not human, actually, that, you know, I think, like, our, uh, our brain now is not looking at newsletter, not even opening anymore. And it mostly go to spam as well. So, But in the end, it's, yeah, so, like, basically, always keep your relationship. I think, like, we, we're all using emails. It's not going to... It's not going to be gone like the next minute or the next years. I mean, emails are there, like we're using it. There were people saying email is dead. That's not true. Like we still send billions of emails. I, I get notifications to check my Slack in email. So <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. It didn't say it any time. It just, it just created a new vertical, like just like social media did. You know, it's like, Definitely. it just keeps me going back to my, 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 uh, my central uh, place. Um, well, wonderful. I mean, I'd love to, to take a look at and, and uh, kind of uh, view. And I know um, you mentioned there's a new user interface uh, yeah. user experience. So love to love to see what that's uh, going to look like. Really awesome. Excited. So I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen to show you a bit like how to set up like a, a campaign. So basically, like this is the new interface. So you have like a, a big button here, you know, to create a, a campaign. So it's pretty simple. You just click on create a campaign. And from there, you are actually like, uh, you have a very specific workflow to follow. 
where every step would be detailed. So here you have to, let's say, okay, let's call it Guillaume. That's absolutely <laughs> very like uh, <laughs> self-centered, but <laughs> okay, let's try that. So I just put a name, so I click on next. Here it's about like uh, recipients. So I can upload a list of recipient or just enter like uh, a name of the people. So I'm just gonna import a, a CSV file. So for Zeus who don't know CSV, it's basically like an Excel file that you would export in a, in a specific format. So here I've got the test list. So I'm just gonna open it. And here actually I can basically see the email, the first name, the last name, and the company name. So you can put actually as many information you want and details in each column to make your, then your emails as personalized as you want. Uh, once you're good with the list, you just have to, to go to next. Uh, if you have duplicate actually uh, within your, um, your list, it would be removed automatically. So don't bother about that. Same if you have duplicate on the, on the platform, uh, you can also like uh, basically like delete everything. Um, so once you're here, you're actually to the messaging part. So this step is about, so we, we gave actually like uh, a lot of inspirational uh, template here. So the goal is basically for people to use uh, those inspiration so they can directly, you know, like uh, start a campaign. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. click on this one. And as you can see here, uh, you have actually like uh, the templates and you can edit it. So here we can put tags such as uh, the first name, the last name and so on. And if you want to add different tags, you can just click here and you would see like the type of uh, personalization that you can add. If in your list, for example, you add uh, more colon with more personalization, you could actually like add them and select them directly here. You can also add this uh, custom variable directly in the subject line if you want. Um, and then now it's uh, the interesting part is about the, the follow-up. So for example, you're going to add a step here. And as you can see here, you can choose again another template. So here I'm going to select, for example, like a, a standard follow-up. Here I could say like, how many days do I want to wait before the email is sent? So one day is a bit like too pushy for me, <laughs> in my opinion, but you do. Uh, so usually what I would do for the, it's put like six days or seven days apart. And then you can again, like uh, add as many steps as you want. It's not limited. So let's say that we are good here. What we're gonna do now is uh, just uh, click on next because we're done with uh, the message. And now it's uh, all about the schedule. So the schedule means when do you want to send your email and between which time? So on this point, I'm just gonna like stop for a, a second just to explain a few things. Um, if you guys are familiar with uh, email outreach, you might have read some article that were saying that uh, the best time to send an email is on a Tuesday at 2 p.m., for example. And just to be entirely clear, it's absolutely not true. <laughs> what we believe is that emails should be sent throughout the day like a normal person would do. And that's actually why we created uh, some schedules. So the schedules allow you to say how many emails do you want to send per day and from which time to which time. So for example, here uh, it's tied directly like uh, your local time zone. So depending on the place you are, you would choose your local time zone. I'm going to take, like, for example, New York office hours. So it would be New York uh, time zone and also between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So I'm going to choose this calendar. Here I can send maybe more email or less. Maybe I'm just going to say I want to send 50 emails per day. And uh, so my schedule is here. Maybe you want to send actually emails during weekend as well. And if, if there is a specific day where you don't want to send it, just like untick it. It's pretty like uh, straightforward. Finally, when you're, you're good to go again, you just click next. And finally, now it's about the options. So Lemnist is also a tool so you can work with, uh, with a team. Uh, so here, actually, there might be like several email address in your team and you can choose from which email address you want to send. So I'm going to choose Guillaume here. And now you have like uh, a bit more option to track, not track. It's a bit advanced. Everything is explained, but I don't think it's really like... Uh, Usually I, I just keep it like this because 
we've done our best, so it's uh, it's basically like the best uh, <laughs> best option. So now I'm just going to click on create the campaign. So basically, when you have clicked on the on on the on the final step, you here, and now you actually need to validate what we call validate is basically have a preview of the emails. And here you are allowed to actually add even more personalization. So as you can see, for example, uh, this is a person I've actually like uh, imported in my list, so Vianney. And then I can add uh, some more personalization here. So for example, hey Vianney, it was great meeting you at a meetup last night or something like that. And, uh, and just uh, when, when you're good to go, you just have to click on validate here and then the message uh, will be sent according to the schedule and you're good to go. And uh, so now that uh, you've seen the, the campaign, I'm not gonna send this one, but uh, what you could, uh, I could show you here, it's actually like a campaign that I've launched, launched like uh, a few weeks ago. Um, we're tracking everything, so which is good actually because when you're sending emails, you want people, uh, you want to know if the people are interested or not. And what you can do here, it's actually like tests. Uh, I mean, know who have opened your email, who has clicked on your email, if you had put the link and also who has replied. That way, you know if the type of emails you're sending can resonate within the person, with the person you're reaching out to. So the goal here, it's uh, pretty simple. So. Whenever, if you want to know like who has opened your email, you just click here and then you will get a list on the side. Mm -hmm. Same for click. So for example, um, the use case that we can rely on on the sides would be for example to uh, lots of people in uh, B2B sales, they'd like to call whenever someone has clicked on the link and didn't reply. So here, that's kind of what you could do. Like whenever someone has clicked, you can just call them and, and have more information. In the HR, actually, like sometimes people do that also when they have also the, the phone number of the, of the person they're reaching out to. And same for press, and actually it's more or less the same. Uh, yep. What you can do, like, uh, because I know like people can reuse email addresses, for example, uh, to do like Facebook ads or these kind of things. It's basically when you have all your results here, you would go to the edit part, scroll down, and then export the file. So this would give you like an Excel file with all the results of your campaign. So you can actually like show it to either if you have managers and so on, like maybe do a graph, do something nice and, uh, and present the results. Um, finally, on the, on the campaign sites, you can see here that you have all the results that you can see directly. So it's quite visual, quite, uh, quite nice and if you don't want because at some point when you're running a lot of campaigns you can actually here just click here uh, either duplicate a campaign if you want to copy it and for example change a list because you had a very successful campaign and now you want to reuse it so you can just like duplicate it or you can arch arch archive it so basically it means that uh, the campaign wouldn't be deleted it's just like uh, an archive so if I click here you see it doesn't show again on your screen, but actually you can have them here. And here it's all the, so it's very easy to switch, uh, to switch screen. Uh, when someone unsubscribe, so I would advise always to put like a, an opt out link because you know, like uh, if someone doesn't want to hear from you, it's uh, you have to be GDPR compliant. You have to, to respect their privacy. And if they don't want to hear from you, you have to respect their choice and also give them a, an opportunity to, to do that on their own and control. So. And subscribe, you can see here all the person who have uh, unsubscribed and, uh, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, it's great. I, I know I use all the time the search leads up at the top for the name or email oh, yeah. to find people yeah. that, uh, you know, I, I want to double check that they're in a campaign or, or, you know, if they reply back sometimes, um, sometimes, like I said, the, the, the timing wasn't great, but they do reply back. Um, it's always good to be able to see that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we're also trying to multi-channel, so sometimes we may message them on another platform, and we just want to make sure that we uh, aren't aren't uh, being too persistent. That's wonderful. I mean, it's a great tool. Um, I know you also have um, that some other, um, you know, the, the item there, and I'm kind of interested to see the video demo that you have there. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the video? Um, does that show yeah. the video uh, option? 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. So basically, like um, what we're doing at Lemlist is we are creating personalized experience from an email. So it's kind of like a, a premium feature we have. But basically, as I was mentioning, we can insert uh, uh, personalized uh, screenshots, personalized images directly into an email. Uh, so for example, what I could share here, here it's an email actually I've sent to, to Uber. So the, in the template, uh, I would put a uh, website screenshot. Then I would have a frame with a video. Uh, and actually like whenever you would click here, so it, it pretends that it's a video, it actually goes to a personalized website. So it can be actually your website. You just have to copy paste like a, a script so it's kind of our technology. Um, so it, uh, the, the website is dynamic and personalized. Hi, I'm Guillaume, the so CEO and I'm just going <laughs> to remove the sound. So you see like the, the website is personalized here. And there is like directly a video that is personalized with company logo. You can insert screenshots. And, um, and the video, it's, uh, it's, you know, for example, if you would be like hiring someone, you could point you know, on saying that, hey, I was checking your profile, really like your skills, and then show the skills again. Everything is dynamic and what's great, it's actually so to create a humanized and also personalized experience. And finally, it's yeah. basically here, it's a personalized message with the first name of the person. So for example, here it's Diane. So Diane is, uh, is the one I was reaching out to, like a person working at Uber. And, uh, and basically, yeah, that's, uh, that's pre pretty much it. So right now, if she wants to chat with me, she can just click here and have a chat and you will get a notification into Slack. So we're connecting mm -hmm. Lemlist and uh, any chat, but this time it, it was a, a chat called Talkus, which is really good to do like a connection. So it's kind of a, a premium service we're offering with that. So to have like a whole personalization, but the results are really, really amazing like the reply rate is uh, for uh, for hiring it's about like uh, can improve your reply rate uh, by two times and for sales it can be up to like five seven times so it's uh, it's really really crazy mm. i mean it's, it's great i mean like you said this is a the, the always nice thing about these is, you know it's a responsive web so they can view it in a mobile it's it's uh, the video is embedded so you get all of the the metrics around that and it doesn't have to be the most, uh, you know, landing page doesn't have to be that fancy. Is and especially, yeah, I love, definitely. I love the idea of the of the of the kind of the chat tool. Um, like you said, the integration with Slack, it um, really changes the game. You take it from, like you said, I, I'm trying to do it with m many channels, octopus. <laughs> uh, this you're doing, you know, you're sending it through an email, and then the next step is they're getting a personalized video. They're getting a, a yeah. chat. With, right within the video, they have a way to, to correspond. Um, yeah, you're not going to lose people in that process. They're going to yeah, absolutely. And also, like if you look at this experience overall, it was uh, the message was pretty simple. It's like, hey, their first name. I made a video for you. So when you receive that, obviously you're going to be like, mm, a video for me. That's pretty nice. You're going to click on it. Then you see that the website is kind of personalized for you. You see a video with uh, a human face, so you feel like uh, someone is actually welcoming you, like you know, into his or like her website kind of shop, we can say. Mm -hmm. And finally, you have like, uh, as you said, you know, like a one-to-one -one way to interact. So here, the message it was, I would love to have your feedback, but actually, it could have been, could you give me like two best availabilities in the next week? Yeah. So even though like I'm not there, I'm not beyond the chat, it doesn't matter. Like if I know that Diane is available next yeah. week, uh, Thursday at 2 p.m. and Friday at 3 p.m., it's perfect for me. You know, I can reach back with an email, with an invite. And then, you know, that's uh, it's either like uh, a meeting or a call or yeah. So it's, it's already like you, you've already started building a relationship without even actually like knowing the person. So we, I think it's, yeah, that's kind of where the it's, power. It's, it's, it's yeah. a really clever solution. I think it, I've never, honestly never seen it this, this well integrated. So it's really thinking kind of a couple steps ahead of other people. It's uh, exciting to see. Thanks. <laughs> and I didn't know that you could do the variables in the subject. So I'm actually going to start trying that. I, um, I've done that in the past, but I didn't know we could do it here. So, um, it's terrific. I got to say, honestly, the, the, the workspace that you're in right now, um, 
is super cool. Can you tell me <laughs> where, where, where is your office? Uh, Thanks. So I, I can actually like move a bit the screen above my head so you can see like the the whole. Uh, it's uh, it's called Station F. So it's um, the world's biggest incubator based uh, in Paris, France. So it opened actually a year ago, and the goal was actually like uh, with you know like the new president in France, like. Everyone wants France to be a startup nation. And um, so they decided to create like this kind of amazing place with a lot of different incubators. So incubators are basically programs um, where startups can help each other out. Uh, there are program manager who can help you out grow whenever you have question, if you need mentoring and all these kind of things. And what's amazing here, it's uh, the number of people. So. You can interact easily, lots of people. So you can find like either potential customers, potential beta testers, potential partners. It's yes. really amazing. That's a, yeah, I, I, work for, I work remote, so I don't have that opportunity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I can imagine the excitement and energy. Um, and it's, it looks like a beautiful workspace. I'm just waiting for the train to arrive. You know, it looks like... <laughs> The path there, um, but now it's it's a it's a beautiful workspace. I mean, like I said, you guys have um, really um, been exceptional and, and great as far as responsiveness and listening to um, you know what your customers are saying about your tool and how to make improvements. I can tell you um, again as a customer, every week I get a notification in the email and in the, in the <laughs> uh, reminding me about what's new this week. Um, and yeah, it's it seems like that's. That, that that pace, those sprints, um, it's allowing you guys to innovate and, and get the product, um, you know, really into as many hands as possible. Yeah, definitely. You know, like our goal is really like uh, to help our users as much as possible. Like we know we're a young company, but still with a lot of users. And to be honest, like uh, most of my time I spent like talking to people, like talking to users, trying to either fix if or help them, like because... When someone you know is asking you a question in the support, like we have a lot of uh, people asking questions, and sometimes it's just because the either the interface is not clear or maybe we are not clear in the process. So, you know that's actually why like any question in the chat is answered. I'm not saying it's answered like straight away, but we're doing our best to do it. And um, yeah, it's really about like building relationship also with our users, trying to to be like you know. As present as possible we are actually we started like building a, a community on facebook also so oh, yeah. we're, we're more than 600 people now we are like helping each other out which is great because to be honest like there is a lot of people like small business owners uh small entrepreneurs agencies or even like people from big companies but who are struggling also with uh, email outreach and the community is basically a safe place to share like thoughts, experiments, tips, best practices, and sometimes like even like fails, wins, because it's also great, you know, like to, to get motivated with other people. I think that's kind of what we're trying to build. And um, we will also launch, launch in the coming months uh, an academy where people can actually like uh, get trained for free. Like we would give like free trainings on, uh, on a few parts for cold email, email, I mean, email outreach, um, like the best practices, how to write a good email, like all these kind of things, the type of personalization you can add and link it also to training on Lemlist, obviously, on how to, to master write the, the platform. That's kind of the, <laughs> the next step. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, usually that's a reserve for the big uh, companies, but you know, you know, that's what the audience needs. They're looking for a tool like this because they, they need something that's, um, just, that just works well um, and does what they need it to do. And sometimes it's, it's a different people have different use cases, uh, different scales, uh, for us, like, you know, how big or small and how many people they need to reach per day. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely, um, you guys are, are doing everything right in my mind. So <laughs> glad, to, uh, glad to share it with the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, um, on that note, I know, um, we talked earlier, and, and, and one of the things that we, you know, are, are pushing <laughs> pushing companies to do with, with us is to to help um, not only see the tool, but obviously we want them to to try it. It's not going to be something you you get uh, return on investment in a day or two. Um, email is a, is a 
is a methodical thing. You're sending it every day, hopefully, or every week. Um, you're timing these things out so that you have a pipeline of you know, inbound and outbound. Um, so we want people to actually try and experience the tool for themselves. Uh, normally, you guys charge per month. Um, yeah. Great. Um, you know, a lot of tools don't even let you do that, but um, we negotiated a good deal. Again, from, from our standpoint, obviously you could have one person using it, but one of the greater benefits is, you know, you have one that power user in-house that's using it, and then you can send on behalf of other people. You can, you know, duplicate or kind of uh, perfect um, their campaign and make it your own. Um, so it, it definitely allows... Uh, teams of people to build from the tool. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the code, just to, to give more uh, like information, it would be basically on the on our team plan, which is like the the middle plan. So it's fifty percent off for every month on three months. So it keeps it like uh, affordable for anyone to to use it. That's generous. I, I, I really appreciate. It. I think it's it's yeah. already, already a good price. Um, you know, I, we shopped. I've, I've shopped around, and I know um, you know there's other tools out there that uh, have a lot of cool features that doesn't do the fancy, you know, embedding or anything like that. I don't need a button to call to action. I need a, I need the, and, and actually from a delivery standpoint, everything I've yes. seen, the simpler is better. Um, but uh, the images and the videos, those pop out um, way more than a green button that says, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> agree more on that point. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's it's yeah, it, it does everything I need and and um, and more. This is um, exactly you know what I think um, companies should be using something uh, like this, and this is the opportunity to to get in, try it, and find out how um, if it if it will work for you, or if you're going to put in the time to to learn it. And obviously, uh, Guillaume, thank you again for for providing that um, to our community. Yeah, thank you for having me here. And to be honest, like uh, anyone can feel free to reach out directly to me, either on, on the chat or, you know, like uh, if you want to share, like my email address is guillaume at lemlist.com. Uh, my first name is maybe like very difficult, but if you type lemlist on LinkedIn, you will see like <laughs> it's, I'm easy to find. <laughs> you're the voice of the, of the company yeah. it, it, it's great I mean uh, and obviously mention that you found them through uh, through sourcing challenge because we we want to make sure that um, you know our audience uh, benefits from one another and uh, again pleasure to have you um, if there's any improvements or changes in the in the product we'd love to have you back and um, awesome yeah. great speaking with you have, yes, a good day. Thank you. have a good day bye <laughs>